Section 9.1.RA-7. Suppose a polling agency reported that 45.5% of registered voters were in favor of raising income taxes to pay down the national debt. The agency states that the results are based on telephone interviews with a random sample of 1,029 registered voters. Suppose the agency states the margin of error for 90% confidence is 2.6%. Determine and interpret the confidence interval for the proportion of registered voters who are in favor of raising income taxes to pay down the national debt. Well, first, we need to identify what is that we're looking for. Well, we would want to be able to find the point estimate. And when you take the point estimate, what you're going to do is you're going to plus and minus the margin of error. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to be able to identify the level of confidence, the point estimate, and the margin of error. So the level of confidence is here. It says 90% confidence. So the level of confidence is 90%. Okay, number three, what is the point estimate? Well, the point estimate is it's reporting that 45% of the registered vo voters were in favor. So therefore, that represents the point estimate. Okay, and then the margin of error states that the margin of error is 2.6%. So therefore, that represents 2.6%. Okay, and so now what we want to do is we want to be able to compute the lower and the upper bounds of the confidence interval as proportions. So we first want to find the lower bound, which is taking the point estimate and subtracting the margin of error. So if we convert this into a decimal, this is point zero or zero point four. Five, five. And the margin of error is going to be 0 0.026. So we're going to take the point estimate, which is 0 0.455, and then we're going to subtract the margin of error, which is 0 0.026. And so what that gives us is 0 0.429. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the upper bound by taking the point estimate, which is 0.455, and then we're going to add the margin of error of 0 0.026. So when we do that, we get the value of 0 0.4. Okay, and so now what we can say is, we can say that we are 90% confident that the proportion of registered voters in favor of raising income taxes to pay down the national debt is between 4.429 and 0.481.